The National Police Service personnel will soon begin donning new blue uniforms owing to the advanced stage of production of the uniforms by the National Youth Service. Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matangi, who toured the facility in Nairobi, said the move to locally manufacture the uniforms has saved the taxpayer more than 700 million shillings. It is absolute foolishness to spend our resources to import things we can find here. And then there's government. The government is the greatest consumer of goods and services. The money we use for these goods and services is not our money. It's money from uh, tax revenue from Kenyan taxpayers. Isn't it wise to support the Kenyan taxpayers by supporting local content? He advised other government ministries to follow suit and embrace local manufacturing instead of unnecessary importation of products. You cannot support manufacturing theoretically. You do it practically by spending our tax resources sensibly in buying what we can make locally. Because that's how we create jobs, that's how we support our farmers, that's how we grow our economy, and that is what any responsible citizen of our country is expected to do. And I think we are responsible citizens, that's what we are going to do. Gender Affairs Cabinet Secretary Margaret Kobia stressed the need for all government departments to embrace the move to support local industries and Kenyans. The resources that we have at the National Youth Service Production Unit, there is no reason why all uniforms, all types of uniforms cannot be produced here because we are also producing the fabric in this country. The National Youth Service Government has the capacity to produce a thousand pairs of uniforms per day.